It's one of the most annoying, distracting non-arguments around. Being accused of being politically correct. It's political correctness gone mad. This is what happens when reality directly conflicts with your conditioned PC brainwashing. Political correctness prevents real scientists from stating their true opinions. There is a such thing as being too PC, you know. These are actual comments I've received. And most of them have been from all the racists that have commented on my video response to Heruka a couple months ago. And again, none of them appear to be capable of producing an original thought. So perhaps it's not entirely fair to use their comments as an example. The thing is, there is no value in accusing someone of being politically correct within any given debate. It's just another ad hom used to distract the opponent from recognizing that there is no real argument being presented outside of personal bias. It's no different than Glenn Beck ending every discussion with, oh yeah, well, Hitler. It's just a buzzword people use to play up to being perceived as being unreserved, when in fact they just don't have any real data to back up whatever their claim is. So they accuse their opponent of being politically correct in place of what they really want to say. I don't care what the facts are. You're wrong. I'm right. So there. It's meaningless. It contributes nothing to a discussion. Declaring to reject so-called political correctness is supposed to mean that the person is unrestricted, a rebel, not afraid of offending anyone's sensibilities. The term political correctness is used sarcastically to mean any attempt to dim the prospect of offending people in regards to religion, sex, ethnicity, etc. In reality, it's just a transparent, temperamental whining of those who don't want to give up the consequence-free promotion of terms or views that are just simply wrong when confronted with factual truths. And this tends to happen more often in the realms of science. It comes up a lot in the debates over global warming, biological evolution, and the so-called human races. Ironically, the people that end up being the most offended are the ones who are so quick to accuse others of being politically correct. It's a term that gets levied onto anyone who favors inclusiveness over exclusivity, or anyone who accepts current data and knowledge over outdated, often erroneous ideas. The press and the media are often accused of pushing some kind of political correct agenda, whatever the hell that is. But truly, I've seen nothing to indicate any kind of organized movement towards not offending people for that sake alone. Whenever someone points out what he or she believes to be an example, it turns out to be the rejection of once accepted bigotry, such as against blacks, homosexuals, the transgendered, Muslims, etc., or a debunked ideology like racial superiority, gender stereotypes, creationism, the United States being a Christian country, you know, things like that. Personally, whenever I get accused of being politically correct, it's clear to me that the person is frustrated because he or she doesn't want to give up their pejoratives and inaccurate beliefs, and yet still be considered a rational person. They still want to call Middle Eastern people hajis. They still want to consider homosexuality a mental disorder, and reject evolution, believe that race as a human classification is valid and synonymous with subspecies, or uh, that global warming from greenhouse gas emissions is not caused or aggravated by human pollution. Of all the instances I've seen in which someone or some group was throwing around the term political correctness over some societal change in policy, behavior, or the lexicon, there hasn't been much in the way of demonstrating that it is based on nothing more than protecting hurt feelings. It always comes back to some resentment over the fact that their once accepted beliefs have given way to that which has demonstrably trounced it 